Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, the Marley channel. With me, I am Miki from Pixel Pets. Of course, if you already watch this channel, you know that already. Anyway, <laughs> uh, today's video is going to be a guide to creating DYO clothing. Uh, if you didn't know already, DYO stands for design your own. So design your own clothing. You can make your own clothes for your pets, similar to what I did with this hat here. I'm gonna go over why <laughs> it is the way it is here really quick because it actually, it does have to do with uh, DYO clothing. Um, so each DYO clothing piece, based on the category, has a different position or like layer kind of I, I how do i explain this basically think of if you're making something in like photoshop or gimp or whatever you know that there's layers um on a pets there are different layers too for example the ears uh so okay so there's the head right the head goes underneath the right ear here but the head also is above the left ear here so if there were layers the ear would be at the top, the right ear, sorry, the right ear would be at the top, then the head would be in the middle, and then the left ear would be at the bottom. So it's like a layered system. And with hats, you actually, the, the hat goes over the head and the left ear, but it doesn't go over the right ear here. Which means I couldn't make this witch hat as a hat, because it would have replaced this ear here, and it would have looked weird. It also, um would not have been behind the head, which you can see I have a whole design behind the head here with like the little, uh, s the slot for the head and all that. Instead I would have had to have it cut off at the sides here and hope that it fits every single head that I have, so yeah. But anyway, that's a, a little bit of a smaller description for parts. I'm gonna go into this here. Uh, first of all, you have to have silver brushes to create clothing, DYO clothing anyway. I'm actually going to show you guys the price for silver brushes really quick. So as you can see, 60 gems for one brush, 170 for three, and 270 for five. Or there's also a creator bundle thing that you can also buy if you haven't already. Um, I already have it so I can't show you, uh, but basically you get, I think you get 10 silver brushes and 10 golden brushes for buying that package, so yeah. Let me go back to this. What I would recommend with creating your own clothing is to have a pets that is just a default pets like this because if you want to make clothes that fit generally all different types of pets, you'd want to use a default pet for that. Uh, but if you want to create pets for a specific pet of your own, you can press this button here and it goes into your pickstery, so your picksing history, right? And it shows you all the pets that you have picked or made, and you can choose one and picks off of that. So you can even get like matching colors to your pets, just using it as a model. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna use a basic default pets. Uh, there's also this button that goes into your closet, so you can select clothing. You can select clothing and you can like use this as like a cloning button sort of thing. And you can also, when you're in your closet, not in the clothing tab, uh, for example, let me go back really quick. If you go into your regular clothing tab, you can actually go to your clothing items that you've already made and you can press this little button and you can increase the amount you have. So for example, one silver brush will increase the amount that you have of that item or that clothing item by five. So if I wanted to, I could use 10 brushes to create 50 of those ribbons. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. But yeah, I just wanted to go over that really quickly. So that's what those two buttons do. You can also edit previously made items. So for example, this, uh, I believe you can, is this? I can't remember if this updates it or if it actually just equips it on your pets. But yeah, anyway, it does one or the other. I also want to go over, again, I, I think I already went over this, but I, I will show you what, guys what I mean really more in depth about the layering thing. So we have collars, hats, shirts, pants, shoes, and miscellaneous or accessories. With collars, the layering is very specific. It is right above the body here. Uh, let's use a bright color. Yeah, yellow will be good. It'll be above the body, but it's also above the leg too, if you don't notice. It's just above everything on the body, as you can see. So it, it can literally be just anything, like a big mass if you wanted it to be. 
Um, but it doesn't go over the head. I don't know if you saw. Here, I'll go back really quick. Oh, okay, never mind. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't go over the head, and it doesn't obviously go over, like, the ears and the eyes and the mouth, things like that. But it goes over everything else. So, that's what the collars category is for. The hats... I, I said this before, but it goes... There is the, um, the right ear. It goes underneath the right ear over the head and over the left ear, like this. So if you wanted to make a hat like I did, it would have to be like this. But this ear would have shown over top of it if I actually made that a hat instead of what I did make it, which is, I think I made it a shirt. But if I wanted to make it a hat, it would have been like this. I would have had to have stopped it at these lines because if I went over, it would go like this. It would be actually on the head and I didn't want that. So, that's the hats. Um, the shirts, what you do for shirts is you have like different layers. So you have got like the, the right arm here, and then you've got the left arm, which doesn't go over the body. It's underneath the body, as you can see here. And then you can also draw on the body, like this, if you want to. But it doesn't go over the right leg, or the, or it does go over the left leg, actually, yeah. But yeah, it, those are the layering styles for the top or the shirt and then the pants it goes over the body here like this it goes over the tail it goes over the left leg but not the right leg so you can also do uh sorry the right leg here like so and then the left leg will also be underneath too like that and then there is the shoes you can see there's the left leg and then the right leg and then also or I guess the left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg. Each one is a different layer. I want to actually show you really quick. The right foot goes over the right leg. Same with the left leg goes over the... Or left arm goes over the left leg. Oh, wait, let me... Uh, here, that's what I'll do. Oh, I guess you can't see it. Uh, but yeah, it goes over the, the back left leg also. But then this one doesn't go over, it goes under, you see that? It goes over this left arm, but it goes under this right arm. Uh, and then this one goes, I think, behind, yeah, behind the, it's like the most bottom layer. And let me actually really, ch I want to check something really quick. Yes, it does go over the tail too. Okay. And then for miscellaneous or accessories, it actually doesn't even matter. It's just over top everything. Every single layer is just over top it. Like if I wanted to do any of these, right? It doesn't matter. It'll automatically put it on the head because it's actually just over everything here. Yeah. I hope that explains it. So if you want something that doesn't cover anything at all, you'd want to go for miscellaneous. Though that means that you can't wear other miscellaneous items with the one that you created. So for example, if you wanted to make like a bow that goes over both the ears here, you can't have glasses at the same time unless you also make the clothing item like a combo of the, the ribbon and then the glasses at the same time. You have to be very uh, specific. I'm not sure why it didn't erase that, but... Let's just erase it really quick. Um, but yeah, those are the layers. And what you'll do is you'll pick your item, whatever cute heart thing, and then you'll press this button here. You'll name it, and you have to make sure it's in the correct category here. I'm not gonna actually end up making this because it's not a real design and it's a waste. But you go blah, and then you purchase. It'll send it to your closet immediately. Like, you will be teleported to your closet to put it on whatever pets that you have out. That is how DYO clothing is made. That's what all the little buttons do. Also, I, I, really quickly, I just realized I missed a couple things. You can use any color you want to make your DYO clothing. I'm, I'm pretty sure the uh, color wheel doesn't really count. Maybe it does. Maybe you still get the, the color wheel if you don't have the golden token, I'm not sure. I can't test that because I do have a golden token. Let me know in the comments, or I guess, yeah, let me know in the comments and I'll pin it if you tell me that you can't use this wheel 
unless you have the golden token for DYO clothing. Let me know because I can't test it myself. Um, and then I'll pin it and so everybody else who watches this video would know the answer too. It would be really helpful. Yeah, I think that's it. You can use normal tools as usual. You can move things. You can see the layers also here. So for example, I'm using, um, let's go to hats. You can see that the, this is like the space you can draw in. Anything that's not in that space, you cannot draw in like so. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, also really quick, these. You can actually use some of the basic sketchy drawn clothing from the closet and you can use that as a base if you want and make your own recolors. You just press it and it puts it on, you know? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. You can use your opacities and this opacity here, all the different tools. They're all there for you to make your clothing. So yeah, if you know the answer to the GT thing, like do you need GT to use the color wheel in DYO clothing, let me know in the comments below. First person to give the answer <laughs> will get pinned. So yeah, I hope that this guide was helpful for you, and I really appreciate you guys watching this. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!